Layla, welcome back to my channel. So today, this video is going to be about things that annoy me. Oh my gosh, there are so many things that annoy me. But I'm just gonna choose 11 because if I chose, if I did everything that annoy me, then this video would just be way too long. So I'm just gonna choose 11. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Pet peeve number one. When my mom rushes me to get ready, but then when I'm finally ready, she's not ready at all. So this this happens normally when I'm trying to get ready for school. So I come downstairs and my mom's like, get ready. Um, Layla, are you ready? We're about to leave in like five minutes. So I, I should just hurry up and get ready. So I, I go upstairs and I hurry up and I'm like falling down the stairs trying to put on my shoe. I come downstairs and my mom is like taking her time, like doing her hair or trying to figure out, no, she's all, she's either about to take a shower or she's trying to figure out what she's trying to wear. Like, what? You just told me to hurry up and get ready because we're leaving in a few minutes. It took me a few minutes to get ready, so when I come downstairs, it's taking you an hour to figure out what you're trying to wear. You know what, I have an idea. I'm just, I'm going to rate each pet peeve on a scale from one to five, like five being the greatest and one being the least. I'm gonna give this a 3.5. Pet peeve number two, when someone walks into my room to ask me about something or something, they leave and they leave the door open. So with me, I'm trying to like watch Netflix or YouTube or whatever, and someone walks, like knocks on my door asking about something or like, hey, what do you want to eat for dinner? Or, hey, what do you want to eat for lunch? Or hey, um, want to go somewhere or whatever? And I'm just like, yeah, sure. Then, Or like, no, I don't really feel like, or whatever I say. They leave the door, so no, no, they come in and my door's closed completely. They come in, open it, but then when they leave, they leave the door like cracked open. This bothers me so much. I am trying to chill and I expect, I expect you to leave my door how you found it, okay? Don't, cr don't leave it cracked open. Just don't. I don't like it when people do that. It gets on my nerves. I'm gonna give this pet peeve a 3.9. Pet peeve number three. Oh my god, this one. This one irks my soul. I am at school and I'm in the hallway, I'm walking down the hallway, casually trying to get to my next class. And um, I am trying to uh, walk at a fast ish pace because I'm a pretty fast walker. Um, I just hate it when I am walking or trying, or I'm trying to walk down the hall and I am behind like a group of sm slow walkers and there's no way around them. Oh, I hate it when there's no way around them because I'm trying to like, like try to, I move this way and then they're like, and I'm trying to move this way and they're like, no, uh -uh. no, to my like kind of it's like a it goes along with this I'm trying to walk down the hallway and then a group of people stop they stop in the middle of the hallway to talk or like stop on the side if it's a narrow hall a narrow a narrow hallway and they like stop on the side and like they're all in the way a whole group of I don't know what they're talking about like what can you be talking about that makes you want to stop in the hallway to talk Honestly, I'm trying to get the if the bell rings you see people trying to get to their next class Like what the heck don't stop in the middle of the hallway to talk. It's so annoying I'm gonna give this one a five because this happens all the time and it really should not so uh, <coughs> No, 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 just don't don't do it. Okay, okay, okay Don't do it. That peeve number four when someone is about to tell me something, but then they say Never mind. Like, no, you brought it up, now you have to tell me. Um, like, Jessica, um, I need to tell you something, like, it's really important. What? Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna give this one a 3.9. Pet peeve number five. When I'm trying to start, like, the same sentence, or I'm trying to tell the whole same sentence, like, five times, and I keep getting interrupted. Like, I'm sorry, did the middle of my sentence just interrupt the beginning of yours? I don't think so. I'm gonna give this one a 4.5.
because it's pretty annoying. Pet peeve number six. When the teacher goes to erase like notes or whatever they wrote on the board and then they sloppily leave a marker or two. A mark. A mark or two. This kind of bothers me like a lot. Like with me, I just, it annoys me when something is like fully there, but then someone goes to erase it and then like it's like still there. What is, what is this? Something about it just breaks my heart. When I, <laughs> it doesn't break my heart, but it's something about it just, it, it's not right. It just makes me feel like. <sighs> I'm gonna give this one a. Okay, it's not as bad as the other ones, so I'm just gonna give it like a 2.6. Pet peeve number seven. When I am reading a book or I am trying to read a book, I am supposedly doing nothing. So therefore, people decide to keep talking to me and interrupting me. But like, no, just because I'm reading does not mean I'm doing nothing. That's like someone trying to watch a movie in their house or wherever and I just say, hmm, they're not doing anything. I'm going to go interrupt them and talk to them. Like, put down the remote. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Um, not everyone likes to read, but I'm one of those people who love to read. So, um, I am actually doing something. I'm not doing nothing, so. <laughs> I'm going to give this one a four. Because reading is my... One of my forms of entertainment, so if you don't like it, then I'm so sorry about it. Pet peeve number eight. When I have to keep pausing my music or having to always t constantly, t con <clears throat> constant, I cannot talk today, gosh. Constantly take off my headphones or earplugs or whatever you used to listen to music because someone wants to talk to me. Like, I understand that. You have to like interact with people. You have to be social with your family and all of that stuff. You have to be like engaged. But um, when I'm putting in my headphones or earplugs, uh, I th that's my sign to tell you I don't feel like engaging. Like I'm sorry. Sometimes I just want to be alone. I am like part introvert, part extra, extra, ex, extra. I don't know how to say the word, but the opposite of introvert. So I might as well just put a sticker on my earplugs or headphones saying. I can't hear you. Don't talk to me. I'm gonna give this one a four also. Pet peeve number nine. When someone asks me to be honest, but then they get offended by what I told them. Tell me, what do you honestly think about my hair? Like, is it too like puffy or is it like too straight? Like, what do you think about my hair? Should I do something to it? Like, do you like it or not? Like, I need you to know. Um, and you want me to be honest? Yeah, like, tell me the truth. Like. Tell me the truth, like, tell me the truth, and like, don't worry about my feelings, like, tell me the truth. Honestly, like, if you want my honest opinion, yeah, just tell me anything, don't worry about my feelings, just let me have it. Well, honestly, uh, I think, I don't really like your hair, and I think you should change it because I don't, I feel like you, I don't, I'm, you shouldn't walk out of the house like that. Well, I, you don't have to be rude about it, like, no one asked you, okay? Like, I just, you don't <laughs> Why do you have to do that to me? I mean, you, you really, my self-esteem is already, like, so low, and you just put it even lower. Like, why did you have to do that to me? You didn't have to say that. Well, you just told me to be honest, okay? I'm just doing what you told me. Well, you don't have to do that, okay? No one asked you. I'm sorry. This is why I have trust issues. I'm going to give that a 4.3. Pet peeve number 10. When someone makes me mad but then tells me to calm down. Don't make me mad and then tell me to calm down. That's like stabbing someone and wondering why they're bleeding or stabbing someone and telling them to stop bleeding. Uh, Ashley, like, you really, like, you suck. Like, you you're, you just suck. Like, don't do that. Like, you're, you just, I don't know what to say that's me. Like, honestly, I'm not a bad person. Don't, like, you just suck, okay? Oh, uh, well, you don't have to be like that. Well, oh, gosh, calm down. You don't have to get all worked up. I'm gonna give it a 2.5. No, 2.9. No, 3.3. That's official. 3.3. Pet peeve number 11. When people mock me. 
like if I get annoyed by something and I'm like getting like upset like you know when I'm upset like if you know me you know when I'm getting upset you know when I'm getting upset if you want to make me even more upset mock me I dare you just stop doing that you're so annoying oh my god you're so annoying stop mocking me stop mocking me oh my god calm down calm down Oh, I hate it. So that is all I have for you guys today with things that annoy me. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Or if you relate it to this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Or if you know someone who could relate to this video, make sure you share it to them because that would just make my day. And make sure you subscribe and like and comment because that would make my day too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.